No one wants to see the Heat in seven game I series, do. Craig. I do. Do the Knicks want to see the Heat in yeah, seven game you're series? Yeah, damn right they do. Look, Miami Heat aren't very good. Jimmy Butler is an assassin. Love Jimmy Butler. Uh, I would actually give Jimmy Butler a Hall of Fame vote when it's all said and done. Uh, I know that's a debatable topic for another day. But I, why am I afraid of the Miami Heat? I'm not. I'm not afraid of the Sixers either. So, look, I hope my – look, I, I really don't care who wins the game because the Knicks win that series in four or five. Uh, all good for me. I love the confidence of Jimmy Butler. And if it's based on last year, yeah. You know, people get a little nervous because you got a dude who is an assassin, isn't afraid of the big spot, and can carry a team, which we saw him do throughout the postseason last year. But for my money, bring him on. Like, and I, either way, I view it this way. As a Knicks fan, come get some because I win either way. Either I take out a hated rival in Philadelphia in the 76ers and I send them into baseball season uh, in a four-game sweep, just like Mark Jackson did back, I think, when 89 uh, when we last played Philly in the postseason. Uh, or, or I kind of, yo know, exercise the demons <laughs> of last year when the Heat took us out uh, in the second round. Either way, I win, and the Knicks are not losing in the first round. I, I'm telling you, the, the Miami Heat, that Heat culture thing, that's that's for real. You know, okay. I've four years there. I know everything he's talking about, you, they're going to be prepared. They're going to be disciplined. They're going to force you to have to play their brand of basketball. The one thing about tonight I think we'll see with, with Miami, they're a team that plays a lot of zone. They play the most zone out of any team in the NBA, and I think that they'll throw a lot of zone uh, tonight. They don't want to have too many one-on-one -on -one matchups in Bede and Adebayo. Right. So I think you'll see a lot of zone. That slows and stagnates teams. Teams always seem like they're shocked and they're on their heels when the zone comes out there. They fall in love with the three. I don't think Philly's a great three-point shooting team. Nope. And so I think that falls right into – the hands of the Miami Heat. I think the Miami Heat is going to win this game. Now, I will say this. if and Again, you guys having played, yep. there are certain games that you get more amped up for than other games, and a lot of it's based on what your relationship is or isn't with the team you're going up against. And as much as Jimmy Butler's having a great time in Miami, and they went to the finals last year, and you know, Tobias is there and you know, all the guys they got, the reality is that he still harbors resentment against the Philadelphia franchise. Not the players. Mm -hmm. They're good. They're straight. But he's still pissed off. He'll be the first to tell you that he didn't like the way it ended in Philly and the lack of commitment to building a team around him and all the things that happened four years ago. So to me, could Miami beat Philly? 100% they could. But from a Knicks fan perspective, it's kind of like the Lakers last night. Great. The Lakers won. Give them their flowers. They get the, they get the seventh seed. They're going to get waxed by the Denver Nuggets. I feel the same way about tonight's game. Whether it's Miami, whether it's Philly, congratulations. You got the seventh seed. You're coming into my building, and you're going to get waxed. So bring it on. It don't matter to me. Yeah, I, I think you stated it earlier. You got to – You got to. Miami's happy because they're resting on laurels from what they did last season, right? Obviously, you're going to be in the AC going all the way to the uh, championship. But at the end of the day, Jimmy's an assassin in the playoffs, though. You know, he's averaged yeah. 26 points in the postseason, and he is the guy. That's I don't think they're a very good team, though. I think you're underestimating that team. Come on. Yeah. I, I, I think you're underestimating, uh, underestimating that team. Jaime Hawkins. He's been playing extremely well. Mm -hmm. Tyler Hero, he's balling. Okay. You got already got Jimmy. Duncan Robinson it got so much better. He's not just a three-point shooter anymore. He's been attacking the ba basket, finishing at the rim. The one thing about them, they are going to be super prepared for whoever. If, if they've got to play the Knicks, they're going to be extremely prepared for that team. And I'm telling you, it's not going to be as easy as you think. You think it's just going to be a cakewalk if you get the Miami Heat. Be careful what you wish and for. And solely because they're healthier, too. They're like, they've, they've gotten healthier, the long, the, especially going into this postseason. I appreciate it. I know you played for Miami. No, be careful what you, you wish for. You went to I'm an NBA you. final with Miami. I get it, Eddie. I understand that. I'm trying to tell the you. The paycheck cleared. I get it. <laughs> it's all good. Look, when you're the two seed, guess what you don't do? You don't lose to the seven seed. And I know there's history there, there's, which is why I said I'd like to exercise the demon of last year and take Miami out. I'd like to beat Philly because I don't like Philly. So either way, I win. The 50-win New York Knicks with the best American-born player, Thank you, Jacoby, and the best guard uh, alive right now in the moment. Sorry to everybody else that thinks they got a better guard in Jalen Brunson are not losing to the Heat 
or the Sixers in a seven-game <laughs> series. It's not even possible. Let's just move forward to the second round, except for the fact that I can't wait to enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> Saturday, feet up. I'll be at Willie's house drinking margaritas, eating alligator, watching the New York <laughs> Knicks take care of whoever they're playing in the first round. Don't matter to me. And I can make an argument that the Heat is a better matchup for me as a Knicks fan than the Sixers are only because Ananobi will not guard Embiid. He's not big enough to guard Embiid. So now I've got to ask Mitchell Robinson and Hartenstein to really be the guys that guard him. Uh, so from that standpoint, if I play the Heat, well, then I'm wide open with who I have Ananobi guard. Ananobi's not big enough to really guard Embiid. So matchup-wise, the Heat come right into the lion's den and we take care of business anyhow. I, I think it's I think the, I'm gonna pick the Knicks no matter who comes out, right? I'm gonna pick the Knicks in the series, but I do not See, think it's gonna be four or five guy. games because I think if it's the Heat, they have the second best coach in the series. And if it's the Sixers, they have the second best player in the series. Wait, time out. You said Spo concern. has the Spoh's the second no, best. No, I'm saying the Knicks have oh, the second okay, best coach Knicks, in the series. Okay. So there's, I, there's, a, there's a reason to be concerned no matter who comes out of that game. Unlike most sort of playing teams or, or two seven matchups, it's gonna be it's gonna be a six six game series. Nah, I, and I appreciate that. Look, I have a long face. <laughs> Your face gonna be so long if they lose. Like secretariats, that yeah. kind of long <laughs> face. <laughs> They're not gonna lose. The not Knicks are not losing the first round. Look, this year. Eddie, we, we, listen. I know that your dream was to be a star player at Madison Square Garden. Oh, you wanted to be a, a Nick? A lot of guys. I was a Nick for a hot second. Oh, for, okay. He wasn't a Nick. I got you. Yeah. He was a Nick for like two days. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, is there any part of you that considers yourself a Nick? No. <laughs> there you no, go. Just keep it on. It was, it, was, it, was a, it was a bad experience. I went from a championship team to... Man, we had like a month left. Or two oh, I know left. the experience. I went from the Steelers to the Jets. Yeah, that's the so yeah, I know I'm, exactly okay, so what that, That's what it is. That's on par. Right on no, par. No, no. Excuse me? <laughs> what is this? Craig, I went, what is this? Craig, I went 4-12. and 12. I yeah. went from Ben Roethlisberger to Geno Smith yeah. in his rookie and, year. And if I may, if I may yeah. you came to a team that had just gone to back-to-back -back championship games. Maybe you should have played better. No, how about, how about that? that team that, was in it, that went to the championship? Yeah. They were still in the locker room. All those guys left. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like showing up, it's like showing up to like a Walmart with empty cupboards. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing with it. When you were in that crew, was, was it Woodson the coach? Who was your no, coach? No, no, Danton. Dan Tony. I was the problem. Mm. I was the problem. That stage mm. of your career, you couldn't uh, run a gun no more. It's actually uh, Antony. There's no defense. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.